How's it going guys? In this video we're going to go over zero order half-life calculations. And before I jump into the first problem, I wanted to go over the way that zero order half-life reactions are actually graphed. Because like I said in a previous video, it's, it's pretty important to be able to know the way that the graphs, the way that these problems are graphed uh, just for standardized test purposes. Uh, so essentially for, for zero order, if we have a slope like this, and we'd have time down here, and the concentration of say A over here. What we have is our Y intercept. It's going to equal the AO. And then this slope would be negative K. But essentially, it, it looks pretty straightforward, and, and it really is. Uh, in the previous, ne in the next two videos, it's going to be first order and then second order. And in those cases, they're not going to have the concentration of A on the Y axis like this one does. So it's just something good to remember. And then for, for half-life, it's going to be T one half is equal to A, oh, your initial, over 2K. So with that said, we're going to just jump into the first problem down here. This is one of those multi-step problems here that I prepared, and I'll just hit carry these down. All right, cool. So here we go. The following is a zero order reaction. A yields B, nice and simple. At the start of the reaction, the AO is gonna be 0 0.422 molar, and the rate constant is gonna be 9.2 times 10 to the negative third M negative one S. So first off, we're just calculating what is the half-life of A. So we're gonna use that formula we had up here, but I'll rewrite it. T of one half is equal to AO over two K. And what's significant about the, the order here and why we differentiate zero from first and second, uh, they're all gonna have a different uh, formula here for half-life. So first off from there, we can say, what did we have? We had A yields B. And then to start, we had our AO was given to us for 0.422 molar. And then we have our K. Our rate constant is gonna be 9.2 times 10 to the negative third. M negative one, S negative, or just, yeah, S. Okay, cool. So from there, we're just gonna plug that right into the formula. The half-life is gonna be our A value, which is 0.422M over two times K. going to do that calculation. All right. So Okay. So what I'm getting is t of 1/2 is equal to 22.93 seconds. So we've answered part A. Now part B, how much of A is remaining after 30 seconds? So in this case, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start again like we always do with the, with the rate. So our rate is, I'll, I guess I'll go over here. In this case, we're gonna use that. And we have A is given to us. A is equal to AO minus KT. A is equal to, we start with 0.422M minus RK, which was 9.2 times 10 to the negative third, M negative one S. And then from there, we're just gonna do 
times our 30 seconds for our time. So now I'll just do that up here. Give me it A equals 422M minus 0 0.276 is equal to 0 0.146M. So we just calculated what we're going to have uh, the concentration of A after 30 seconds. So then what we're going to do is, and, and as you can see that reduced quite quite a bit, it's, it's down to almost about a fourth. And then we have finally for part C, how many minutes would it take for the concentration of A to reach zero? I think this is like a pretty common type of problem um, and I, I've seen this quite a lot. So uh, really what we're going to do is, we're going to set our concentration of A to zero 0m equals, we have the 0.422m minus 9.2 times 10 to the negative 3m negative 1s times t. So this time we're solving for time. Then what we can do here is we're just going to, I think, actually just pull this down. So we'll have negative 0.0092t. So we just basically moved this to that, to that side. Let me scoot that down. We moved uh, this over here, the 0.92 or 9.2 times 10 to the negative third t over to the opposite side. Now we're going to have equals um, we can move the 0 0.422 actually over to and we're gonna actually there's an easier way to do this here so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna flip the entire equation so we'll take just I think it's easier this way so we'll take 0 0.0092 T plus 0 0.422 M is equal to 0 so from there what we can do is we can minus 0 0.422 from both sides. And then we get our 92t is equal to negative 0 0.422m. And then we'll just divide both sides by 0 0.0092 and negative. And then what we'll do is Solve that out. What I got was 45.87 seconds. But this is where you got to be careful. Uh, what did it actually ask for here? It says how many minutes would it take for the, the concentration of A to reach zero? So now what we're going to do is just a simple conversion divided by 60 seconds. That will leave us with minutes. So we have 45.87 divided by 60, 0 0.76 minutes. All right, and that's that for the zero order. I just wanted to do one of these multi-step, and uh, then we'll move on. In the next video, we'll do first order, and then so on and so forth. Just a quick reminder for the graphing of. Ooh, let's see if I can fit this in. For the graphing of zero order, what we're gonna want is. There we go. Our concentration of A, and over time, our uh, Half-life calculation is AO over 2K. So yeah, hopefully this helps someone.